Hello, this is a shamanic approach and I am Angela Faith, shamanic practitioner and mentor. And I am so excited for today. I have a guest with me, Dana Sidoris. Hi everyone. Yes, the creator and owner of Our Mother's Crystals. And we're gonna talk more about that. As always, I like to begin by saying, it is never my intention to tell you what to think, feel or believe, but it is my desire to inspire you to think, to feel and to believe. I'm so happy you are here. And I have this all set up. We are sitting on a little couch. I want it to be cozy. It's so cozy. Yeah, we've got our tea. <laughs> now, cheers. Cheers to tea. <laughs> and typically my podcasts are 30 minutes, but this is going to go. I'm going to try to keep it at an hour. So it is 1030 here right now. And we're just going to jump right into it. Yeah, so let's do it. Yes. I'm excited for today. Oh. Um, always a pleasure to hang out with Angela. Um, she has been my mentor, my guide, my friend, my spiritual advisor. Mm. We were just discussing this for three years now, at the very least three years. In that role, but we... Yeah, well, right, <laughs> right. Our paths have crossed for... Oh, it's been a long time. Oh, my goodness. Since 19... Oh, I can't even think. I could, Numbers are hard. I couldn't even begin. Time is hard. We've known each other for a long time. A long time. Before either of us really got into this realm of spirituality, I would say. Yes, absolutely. Um, we absolutely. met working out at a boot camp and um, then, you know, kind of didn't lose ways or split ways, but just lost contact, I would guess. Yeah, we didn't stay in touch. I don't even right. know if there was social media then. It was that long Very ago. little, <laughs> very little. Yeah. And here we are back again, and she is my mentor, and I, I'm just so blessed to have her in my life. And I'm mm. really honored and blessed to be a guest on her podcast, which I adore. My first guest. <laughs> yeah. I'm so excited to have what her here. What an honor. And so I wanted to have Dana. Dana is an amazing resource for crystals. Thank you but not just purchasing crystals. I have no doubt that in a past life, she was a, a steward of yeah. the crystals and worked with crystals. Her knowledge is innate. It's more than what you can just get from books. Thank you. Yeah. I it's got chills. Thank amazing. you so much. <laughs> amazing. And you can find Our Mother's Crystals on Instagram. They have live shows. She also has a website and Etsy, but the really good stuff you would say yeah, is on the, the live shows the bulk of what we retail as far as crystals metaphysical supplies spiritual mm -hmm. tools um most of it is on our instagram story sales yes. or live sales um but we do have a landing pad for um people that are just discovering us as far as our etsy shop and our website as yes. well and people like me that that like to shop to, that way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the live sales, I get too excited. So I wanted to ask, I, I, we have some questions here, and this is a shamanic approach. We yeah. discussed a few things we wanted to touch on. And one of the things I would like to talk about is it is the Christmas season, the holiday season. And many people have the festivities of the traditional Christian yeah. Christmas. And the beauty about shamanism is whether you practice Christianity or identify as a Christian or not, you can also take a shamanic approach to yes. this time of year. It is not an easy time of year for everyone. It's not for me. Yeah, it, it's not for <laughs> me either. It, it is not my favorite time of no. year. And I have found that for me, it has been truly releasing the idea of what I thought Christmas was supposed to look like. Truly. You think? Yeah, I do. Um, Angela is one person that really helped to open my eyes to winter's magic. Winter in Yule time mm. is a learning experience. It's a time to go within. It's a time to rest. It's a time to, it, it has taught me, you have helped to facilitate this, to appreciate the death cycle. Mm. Yes. And then the rebirth that comes after that and that everything is cyclical. You can't have the light without the dark. Mm -hmm. We are all continuously being reborn again and again and again. And nature being our biggest teacher, I think winter is a beautiful way to experience that. Yes, it is. And, and so again, whether you're celebrating Christmas in the yes. traditional way, take a moment to appreciate winter solstice. Yes. And 
Google is so magical to have in this day and age. Aren't we lucky we live in an age? Oh my goodness! Of Google. Yeah, I feel so smart with Google. <laughs> I, I can Google it. I'm like, ooh, I want. I know such random information. I do too. But I can tell you, like, ants have two stomachs, and crows can bury things in 250. I'm always looking up. Do spiders fart? Yeah. Truly, I, mean, I have Googled that. Um, <laughs> do they? They do. Oh actually. my gosh! <laughs> they do. They let off little gas. Yeah, so there you go. I will not forget this moment. This is yeah. one of those little tidbits of knowledge that will never be forgotten. When you get to know details about animals, especially ones that scare you, oh, I love animals. You can become more compassionate and just mm -hmm. realize, like, I fart, and, like, not freely, but <laughs> <laughs> so do spiders. So it's just that was part of my process. We are but, all one. We are yes. all connected. We are all come from the same source. Yeah. So during your Christmas holidays, <laughs> if Christmas is not a great time for you, shift your focus mm -hmm. and celebrate winter solstice. Yeah. Celebrate um, Google. That's where I got on with that is Google Yule celebrations. Yes. Um, it's before Christianity, there were other celebrations for this time of year, and it is a way to change and create new traditions if you are finding that it's a lonely time or a challenging time. Yes. Yeah. And that you are safe and supported. Oh, Even yes. during the coldest, darkest days of the year, you are always yes. supported. And yeah. the more that we, and I learned this from you, the more that we do these ceremonies, and these rituals and just these little things to honor the season, the more support we're going to get from the other side as yes. well by honoring. Yes, absolutely. So I will ask you this, Dana, yes. what two words would you use to describe shamanism? If you had to use two words, two, just two words, two words. Oh gosh. I know I didn't prepare her for mm. this. <laughs> Unconditional love. Oh, mm. I love that. <laughs> Because if to me, shamanism is about source, mm -hmm. source being unconditional love. That's the highest vibration. To me, that's what source is. That's yes. what source yeah. energy is. And shamanism to me is incorporating unconditional love into my daily life and that it is already innately inside me. It's inside you. It's inside all of us. And then how do I live in a way where I support that? Mm -hmm. And supporting yourself with unconditional yes. love. Absolutely. We need it. Yeah. We have to. Yeah. It's got to start in here. Um, I feel like shamanism is such a loving practice. Mm -hmm. It's. Not, I'm not saying it's always pretty. I'm mm -hmm. not saying that it doesn't hurt sometimes to do like shadow work and things of that right. nature. Um, that's the forever journey. There's going to be that roller coasters of, you know, highs and lows. Yes. But the basis of what it's, what it's all based on. Mm -hmm to me is unconditional love. I love that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Unconditional love for all of yes. creation. Not, yes. I, I understand we're not separate from the everything else that is on this mm -hmm. planet, but we're also not separate from the invisible realms either. It's not Absolutely. us and them. It's us. It's all of this, all yes. of it. I, the two words that I use, this has come to me recently. <clears throat> You've heard me say the first one, <clears throat> excuse me experiential yes very much it's not so. just a concept yes. or a belief or me telling you this is how it is it's it's experiential yes. and that's what i that's probably the proudest thing i am with my programs as i support it yes. being experiential not just uh, i do talk a lot but i also well, want it to be um something that you experience not so that would mean it's not me saying dana this is your power animal yeah. dana experienced yes. her power animal and i think that's so important yes. because you can read every bit of information you want to on spirituality metaphysics shamanism whatever it may be until you actually put it into existence and experience it, yeah. you're not, I don't think that you can fully grasp yeah. what it feels like. It's just a concept. It, it, right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Like you, you get it when you're reading it, Yeah. but until you experience it, you're on a whole nother level yes. until you do. Yes. Experiential. I think that's and beautiful. My second word is reciprocal. Reciprocity. Oh, yes reciprocity is give and take 
And it is give and take. Mm -hmm. Reciprocity. And I'm actually going to, I am a word nerd. She is. And she and comes up with the best phrases and she needs to make bumper stickers. <laughs> or I'm going to have a book that <laughs> is for the bathroom. I love it. I love it. So it's just, you can flip through it. Angela-isms. Like, and, oh, I love that. There I love you go. That. There's your next book, girl. So reciprocity. I want to I wanted give you the actual definition because I looked it up yeah. this morning. The quality or state of being reciprocal, mutual dependence, action, or influence, mutual, mm -hmm. a mutual exchange of privileges. It's mutual. And we live in a culture that takes and takes yes. and takes. And, and we're selfish, not yes. with integrity. Right. <laughs> and humankind hasn't always lived this way. That's right. Uh, it's unnatural. And a lot of us that suffer from what are labeled as mental challenges, anxiety, depression, mm -hmm. those type of things. It's a result of living in such an unnatural way. I agree. Right. Yeah. And I, I know this because of the people that I've worked yeah. with. I've been doing this long enough to see now that incorporating some small practices that are innate and natural yes. can support us in this fast paced world. Yes. And I think, um, talking bouncing off that word what you give as far as your practice with spirit mm -hmm. with your say your ancestors your power animals with nature the more you get back yes. if you just expect to say well i believe i have power animals i have spirit animals okay that's great but what are you doing to honor them on mm -hmm. a regular basis and to work with them in order to actually build that relationship yeah. to where they are more receiving mm -hmm. and then also give back because yeah. of that it is it is the give and take yeah. i mean it has to be balanced yes with the land offering giving yeah. offerings to the land yeah simply and reciprocity is so easy it truly is just appreciation it is it's taking a moment we talked yes. about crow this yes. morning and just taking a moment to stop and say i appreciate you you came and saw me today you flew over my head yeah. today how cool is that yeah and that's Thank truly you. all but it is reciprocity we we talk a lot about spirit guides and manifesting yeah. and and working with spirit that's what everybody wants to talk about that's yeah. it's like <laughs> that's... the new not new but it's it's common right now it's yeah. hot it's a hot topic and yes. manifesting what you want and, yes. and all the things and in shamanism it's really not so much focused on what i want it's yes. how can we all live in harmony me and all of creation yes. and that truly falling in love with that has supported me in falling in love with myself and then everything else falls into place everything else does absolutely and, and it's so easy but as a society how we've been taught how we've been programmed just the way we we live nowadays yeah we make it so hard on ourselves. Yes, yes. And yeah. I have to I have to think back like with our ancestors, even mm. in anti antiquity and ancient times, we think how hard they had it. You mm. know, they didn't have all the things that we had. They didn't have Google. They didn't right. have encyclopedias, you know. They didn't have running water. <laughs> and guess what? <laughs> I guarantee you they were much more lit mm -hmm. than any of us yeah. truly are at yeah. this moment because they weren't as much out of alignment. They had their hands in the dirt. Yes. They had. Yes. So one of my favorite stories is when I would visit my great grandmother. She was a medicine woman and <laughs> yes. she, oh, she was so magical. We weren't watching TV in her house ever. She didn't get a TV until, yeah. until later in life. Didn't get a phone until she was in her 80s and thought it was, she couldn't, just couldn't accept that, that <laughs> someone could talk to her from somewhere else oh my gosh. over the phone. And she, we would sit and break beans yeah. all day, canning. In Buddhism, they teach that, I said that funny, Buddhism, Buddhism, <laughs> Buddhism. <laughs> they teach that cleaning and cooking yes. become meditation. Yes. Yes. And if you have, but if you're worrying and stressing, or you have the TV blasting, or you've watched the news all day, mm -hmm. and so you're cooking, but you're worried to death about what's happening across right. the world because you've been watching that all day. It's not meditative. Yeah. You are disconnected from You're not in the that. present moment. You're no. not in the now. You're not focusing on just the one task you're doing. You've got a million other things running yeah. in the background of your mind because of the TV playing, yes. you know, or whatever it is. The thoughts. And so yeah. you've surrendered your power. Your yeah. power is is um, surrendered there. 
And the awareness is key. Once you start becoming aware, like, oh my God, I'm doing this. Now you can change it. Yes. You can shift it. Absolutely. And so with the reciprocity too, I just want to touch briefly on, um, I'm, I'm really big on leaving offerings for Mm. animals, trees. I use tobacco. Um, yeah. Hair. Hair. Yes. If I am out, the husband and I, and we cut wildflowers, it's, yeah, I, I have the tobacco. He, he asks permission, may I cut you? And he clips and then I sprinkle the tobacco. Mm -hmm. If you don't have tobacco, you can take a strand of your hair and leave that. Yes. Witchy tip. My husband's bald. So guess who leaves the hair (laughs) when we go? I'm always like, just take one. (laughs) Yeah. And, and that is about reciprocity. Here's another one I'll, I'll share with you in indigenous cultures. And, and when I say indigenous, this is not about cultural appropriation. We all have ancestors. We mm-hmm. all have stories that we are many generations removed from that still live within us. Yes. And we still have access to them. We all have indigenous ancestors. But wherever you live, like we live in America, yes. it's important for us to honor Native American culture. That's where we live. <clears throat> so working with the the indigenous cultures, when they would come across, say they're looking for sweet grass. Yes. They find a patch of sweet grass. They don't take the first patch. Right. They don't cut from the first patch. They honor it and they keep moving. Mm-hmm. And then they find a second patch and they only take half mm-hmm. or what they need. I learned this with Dana. I yes. got to tell this. I yes. was going to buy it. the yeah. obsidian arrowheads. Yes, I remember. And she had <laughs> two batches of six. And I said, yes. I want them all. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I texted her. I'm like, I want them all. And then because of who I am and what I do, I felt it in my body. Mm, yeah. That's how I trusted knew. that. I trusted it. Like, yeah. ooh, when I said it, I felt it. Yeah. And I was like, wait a minute. And I, re- but remember, see, I have those ancestors in my head. I sit quietly a lot. Remember, yeah. we only take half. So I messaged her back as hard as it was. I said, I only want <laughs> one batch. And don't you know, she when she um, delivered them, she said someone claimed the other batch. They did. That day. Yeah. And because, you know, my ego was like, oh, yeah, they need to get rid of the inventory. Right. Nobody else. Yeah. Nobody's going to want those. <laughs> Nobody's, Nobody's going to care. No one yeah. will notice. It's not easy. Yeah. It's easy to say, oh, yeah, it's pretty to leave We're, half. But when it's hard to do. We, we are in a consumer consumption society. Yes. You know, we consume, consume, consume. And that again, goes back to, um, you know, give and take. Yeah. How much are you taking, but not giving back? Same with the grandmother moon. We do moon rituals for what we want. Yes. How are you honoring? How do you honor her all the rest of the day? And and what I do by running out in the cold. Oh, hi. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, running out in the You're sunrises. So beautiful. Yes, I, I love you, grandmother, in all of her faces. And that's why we give back to, um, well, I think I was led to give back. Well, I know. Mm-hmm. I don't even think I know. I was led to give back with Our Mother's Crystals because oh, yes. I took a shamanic journey before. You know the story. Yes. So I, I took a shamanic journey before I started the business to, one, just see if it was in my highest light and highest honor. Um, and then two, what was it going to look like if that were the case? So I took a shamanic journey, long story short, um, I was actually greeted by mother Gaia energy, mother Mm -hmm. earth herself. And she basically gave me her blessings, but she also said, if you take from me, you're taking from my body, please give back. And then I was, I had an image of trees and Mm. what have you. And so now with every purchase, we plant a tree in that person's honor. And we do that with a nonprofit agency called One Tree Planted. But it is, it's a give and take. But I was taught that before I even really, I guess, realized Mm -hmm. that that is part of shamanism. Yeah. Um, so I just think that's a beautiful testament to yes. that being one of the main words of yes. what shamanism is. That's, that's what was recently given to me in that. my own journey. Yes. I love that. In my own. So, uh, that is a perfect segue with you yes. talking about journeying before you started our mother's crystals. Mm-hmm. When Dana and I began working together in this way, when I began mentoring her and actually it was before, um, we were in a mentoring, but she was coming to me yeah. for insight and, and, um, like spiritual guidance, guidance yes. and e- healing sessions yes. and, and that type of thing. So, and in a healing session, what happens, and I'm, 
I have practiced as a psychic medium, but I say mm -hmm. I'm more prescriptive now than predictive. <laughs> and it's about moving out whatever's blocking you from being guided to the life you desire and are wanting to participate in a life that you want to participate in. That's important to have that, right? When Dana came to me, she was working at FedEx. I was at FedEx. I was in what had happened previously. I had essentially lost my job, was like fumbling around trying to find a job. Oh my God, mm. I can't find one. This kind of landed in my lap. 2020 hindsight, it was probably the best freaking thing for me, even though I completely hated it. And <laughs> she did. Oh my God. <laughs> she hated. was here to find out how to... <laughs> Oh, she hated but her job. <laughs> I figured out how to love every day at that job, no yep. matter what was thrown at me. And I learned that through you. Yeah, that wasn't the answer she wanted. I was like, no. until you learn to be happy yep. there, in spite yep. of, you're not going to be happy <laughs> anywhere. Because no matter where you go, yep. you're going to take these. Because it's what a lot of us, the worrying about what other people are thinking or feeling um, disrespected oh, or feeling yes. all these things. It, it It's... It's addressing unfair. those. It's so unfair there. Yeah. And <laughs> all the things. And so we started working on those. And when she, yes, stopped hating where she was, mm -hmm. then she I allowed literally... the other stuff to come through. It's so true because when I finally got out of my own damn way and finally said, found the beauty in every single moment. And I was, I think I was putting so much stock of myself into my job. Yes. Our like, self-worth and our produ yeah, production. And, yeah. And, and when I, I started going into work with a different attitude, mm -hmm. a more positive attitude, regardless of what is thrown at me today, I'm going to have a damn good day. Yeah. I, it is going to be a beautiful day no matter what. Yeah. And the more and more I did that, it, it takes practice. I'm not saying I went in every day and had a great day. Right. I didn't, but I found the small moments in every day that fed my soul. Yeah. And that might have only been reading a spiritual book on my 15 minute break. Right. And that right. was, that fed my soul. And I became so grateful for those small moments. And then I be, became more grateful for being able to just wake up and I have a job. There's so many people that don't have a job and so on and so forth. Yeah. yeah. When I was able to do that work and put that work into place that Angela helped to facilitate and helped me to get there and helped me to realize, which it goes much deeper than this. This is right. the Cliff Notes version right, right. of that. Um, then, then I was able to start receiving mm manifestations you could call them um i was starting oh my god i got chills i was starting to get more in alignment and things were just happening things, clarity yes mm -hmm. you know you start seeing all the angel numbers you start um, synchronicities. The synchronicities yeah and then every little thing just fell into place like bread breadcrumbs were given to me yeah. and i was able to facilitate a new life you were able to be aware of the breadcrumbs. They're yes, always there. They're always there. It's yes. our awareness. It's And I always say, you are never, ever, ever disconnected. People will come to me and say, I feel disconnected. I, I was one of those. I understand that feeling it is as real as being it. I get that when you're feeling it. Mm -hmm. But I want you to, to know you are never disconnected. Your right. awareness yeah, of your connection right. can be blocked by your mind that that yeah. squirrely mind we have. Yeah, monkey brain. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and I, I still have monkey brain. It's like we're yes. not perfect just because we practice and, you know. And it is a practice. It is a practice. Yes. It's an everyday practice. Yes. I mean, we still have those moments, but now we are aware that it is happening. And now, guess what I can do? I can pivot mm -hmm. and I can transition into a new state of mind, yeah. redirect that energy into something else to get my mind back on track yeah. to the higher vibrational energy that I want to be a part of. And I have a higher awareness too. So shamanism is a, pra a spiritual practice. And it's also an understanding that all of this is a dream and you are dream. the dreamer. Yes. So if I don't yes. like my dream, my mom used to say, get out of my nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> and if your life is a nightmare, you are the dreamer. Yeah. And so becoming aware of how you are contributing to the nightmare or the dream. So yeah. with Dana's previous job, I was, you know, telling her, you've got to stop complaining about it. Totally. I think that was one, like you can come home and, and bitch for 10 minutes yep. and that's it. And no that's more. It, no more. That is not easy. I get it. 
I get it, but it's effective. And then you find that you have little tolerance for that anymore because you start feeling how good it yes. feels to shift your focus. Yes. That you start having less tolerance for, or you become aware when you are in that um, negative rabbit hole. Yes. And I want to say that I became so much more compassionate yes. to other people that yes. I was dealing with at work as far as, well, I don't think it's fair that they're doing this. I don't like the way they talk to me. Nah, yeah. nah, nah, nah. Right. We've all been there. Yes. I was starting to have an awakening with help via you, um, an understanding of they got their own shit they're dealing with they have their own demons they're not on a spiritual level that i'm at for that i have compassion well and and everyone is expanding from where they are from where only where they are right that's what we're here for and i learned not to take anything personal Personal. (laughs) don't take anything personal because it ain't ever about you it is always about them so if someone said something that you don't like that it doesn't resonate with you you feel like it is an attack on you it's not it's not personal that is some darkness, negative energy, whatever, trauma, a reflection of their character. Refl- it's all about yes. them. Yeah. Nothing anyone does to you or for you is about you. When I could fully yeah. grasp that. It's not an easy one to grasp. God, it's not. <laughs> and I still mm-hmm. have moments where I'm like, oh, hell no. But- I spent days trying to find a way around that when it was yeah. taught to me by Reverend John White, I will say, yeah. Lily Dale is who taught ah, me that. And so I didn't awesome. like it when I heard it. I was like, no, there, no, no. Because I'd been through trauma like a lot of us have. Yes. And I thought, no, that that thing that happened that he did to me was yes. about me. Yes. It was not. It, and when I learned to do that, like, I had just, like, total epiphanies. And, like, mm. everything just brushed off of me. Yeah. Like, it, someone could come in and be having a bad day. And then I would have had a bad day because yeah. they put their energy Match on me. Match vibration. Yeah. Um, my boss at the time could have been a complete a-hole. Um, and I would normally have went off. Like I would, I spoke my truth. <laughs> I went Everyone's off. entitled to speak right. their truth these days, but, right? <laughs> but, but, you know, with this practice, I was mm. able to just let it roll off. It, it's, mm. it is no reflection of me. It was not a reflection of me of uh, an employee, right. you know, how I did right. my job. And, um, it was literally like, you flipped a script in my mind. It's all about our perception on things. Mm-hmm. And the story we're telling in our mind too sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I could have perceived that as an attack on me or I could perceive that as, oh, they got a lot of healing to do. Yeah. I love you. I'm sending yeah. you love. You know, I'm, I have a compassionate heart for you now. It's all about how you perceive it as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And once you do that, you can completely change your life. Yeah. But it, there's a lot more that goes into yes. it as far, especially in a shamanic way. Yes. Yeah. We won't even go at all the setting oh my boundaries. Yes. And, and yeah, yes. it's not about being anyone's doormat by any right. means. Because I still have ghetto Dana. Yes. And I, I'm not as reactive. <laughs> I don't lose my That's shit like I it. used to, <laughs> yeah. but I am responsive yes. instead of reactive. Um, and I'm not going to talk a whole lot because you guys will hear me talk about it probably every episode mentioning meditation. Yeah. You cannot improve a spirit have I will say this and I may have said it before I've studied I practice shamanism and have for many lifetimes Mm -hmm. I've studied spiritualism I have a degree in metaphysics yes um Buddhism I've studied and they all talk about the importance of meditation yeah you cannot get remove those um, blocks and get that divine guidance, those energetic yes, breadcrumbs. I if agree. you don't practice your intuition is still not as powerful. Yeah. You just, you've got to be able to sit still. No, you yeah. do not stop your <clears throat> mind, but you are, when you sit still and with practice, you can slow the mind and, and, and it, focus. And I, I feel like Angela was so brilliant with like, she changed my world with this one mm-hmm. sentence. I told her, I was like, well, I'm not seeing anything during my meditations uh. anymore. <laughs> That's not why you meditate, Dana. Oh, okay. I get it. You meditate because the whole rest of your day is changed because of that. Mm -hmm. The whole rest of your life is changed because you took time to settle your nervous system, to quiet the mind. If you can, I mean, we all have monkey brain and we, you know, we have that mind chatter, but you took the time to just have some you time and to connect um, to what is already in you. Mm -hmm. And the rest of your day flows a whole lot different whole lot different when you meditate it's not about what happens during the meditation exactly. it's after yes and 
Yes. I love that. Yes, I love so that. much yes. Well, and, and I'll just say quickly, again, it's also to me part of that reciprocity. Yeah. I want spirit to, and I say spirit creator and my, my spirit allies Whatever to support me through the yeah. day. I, for me, my morning meditation is like our morning meeting. Yes. I'm showing up for them. So yeah. they'll show up for me. It, it, absolutely. And that shifting that. So then again, it's not all about me. Mm. And when I am showing up into the 100. world and as, as a calmer, less reactive version, then the world is a better place. Uh, indeed. And one thing that you told me, oh my gosh, do it as if your life depends on yes, it. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And it does because truly we do all these other things for our health, our well-being. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we do all these modern things. Meditation, your, the well-being of your life depends on it. Yeah. It truly does. Yeah. I'm a testament of that. I went from never meditating to meditating all the time. Mm -hmm. and when I say all the time, I mean daily. I'm not saying I'm spending hours meditating. I could at this point. It would be but... nice. It would be nice. <laughs> yes. But, yes. Um, it truly can change your life mm -hmm. in the most magical of ways. And you don't really think about it when it's happening. It's everything that happens afterwards. It so is. do it. Yes, do it, do it, do it. And if you need any guidance or support with that, I'm happy to share mm. tips because um, there's a lot of myths yeah. about meditation yeah. and misconceptions and, and blah, blah, blah. So yes. um, yeah, hit me up and I'd be happy to talk. I could talk hours about yes. just meditation and um, yeah, so we won't do that. <laughs> I do want to switch gears just a moment and or just a little here. And I do want to talk again about crystals because yes. we had a conversation before we got on here. We both feel strongly that crystals are powerful tools. I use yes. them in my practice as a healer mm -hmm. and I also use them in my personal practice. I use them in meditations. I wear mm -hmm. um I wear moldavite every moldavite. day. This oh, was sorry. Moldavite. No, you're good. I was just like moldavite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this was gifted to me by by an elder, and it's very yeah. precious to me. And I wear Labradorite always. Yes. That's kind of my talisman. I know you love Labradorite. Um, and then these are family heirlooms. But I also have crystals on my altar. Everywhere. I meditate with crystals. I have selenite over my doorways. Yes. I have um, black tourmaline in the four corners yes. of the room. Yes. But what we were talking about, and I want Dana to talk more on this, is that crystals do not do the work for you. Yeah, let's talk about that. <laughs> Because yes. that is a myth too. So crystals are hot right now. They um, celebrities have crystals. They're decorating with crystals. They're using crystals, um, and you know there's a spiritual awakening going on in the collective, so to speak. And so crystals are getting a lot of attention. What you're also seeing are crystals getting um, a lot of knowledge floating around about said metaphysical properties of crystals. Yes, all of that is quote unquote, true. So let's say someone says amethyst helps with sleep. Amethyst helps with the crown chakra. Amethyst is very protective. I'm not saying that any and all of those are incorrect. All of those are correct. But you are the power behind the crystal. The crystal is just the vessel. The crystal is the tool that amplifies the energy amplifier there you go i like that and you you called it a conductor which mm -hmm. i like too i thought that was really slick i like mm -hmm. that so your intention is the almighty power behind the magic you work with your crystals so let's say oh i heard amethyst is great for sleep let me get a big amethyst cluster and set it next to my bedside Okay, that's great. And mm -hmm. yes, you will get a little bit of an energetic shift in the room or the dwelling if you're open to it and aware of right. that. Right, right. But did you connect with the crystal and set your intention with it? A lot of people would call it charging or programming mm -hmm. your crystal. Yeah. Um, if you did not, then you may not be receiving the full benefits that crystal energy, Mother Earth energy has to offer you. Mm -hmm. So I did do a, um, a guide on this. It's like a little witchy tip of the day on our Instagram page. Um, but you can simply just speak it out into existence, into the crystal. Yes. Words are powerful. So powerful. Yes. And you can hold it close to your heart, connect with it on a heart chakra level, mm. ask its energy to connect with your energy and get quiet and just take some deep breaths yeah. and then say, Amethyst, I want your energy 
and frequency to connect to my energy and frequency. And I want us to co-create a beautiful habitat where I can sleep peacefully at night. Mm. Allow me to accept your energy for a good night's sleep. Done. It can be as simple as that. It can be way more detailed than Mm -hmm. that, connecting with your crystals or programming your crystals. But I don't want people to get caught up on, well, I heard that carnelian is really good for the sex drive. Right. It is because it connects to the sacral chakra, your sexual organs. But don't just buy a piece of carnelian and say, well, I bought carnelian. I, I'm not feeling <laughs> I'm still it. Not getting My husband wants to know why I don't want to. <laughs> well, or, and it's, yeah. And also I want to touch on that a minute. Yeah. If you've got some trauma mm. or you've got some underlying things that are affecting, we'll say the sex drive. Yeah. Cause that's been my story. Buying yeah. carnelian ain't going to solve it. It's not, but you've it got to do... support you yes. in yes. identifying and moving through <laughs> what is blocking your sex drive exactly so like the amethyst i love that the if Mm -hmm. if you are and even if you program it to sleep but then you're laying in bed on your phone till one o'clock in the morning that's what i'm saying is you've it supports you Mm -hmm. in knowing how to support yourself in achieving what you are um seeking to achieve i think that's beautiful because um let's talk about quartz and lemurian seeds Mm. They hold ancient codes and a lot of high vib- vib- excuse me, high vibrations <laughs> and a lot of knowledge. But what am I doing to receive that information yeah. from them? Yeah. Am I meditating every day? Am I asking? Mm-hmm. Am I open yeah. and not resisting those codes or those downloads or that information? It's what you do on a daily basis, yes. especially participating with your tool, your crystal, that is really going to bring you the results that you want. I think that that's a beautiful testament as to what mm-hmm. crystals can do as far as you are the power behind it. Mm-hmm. Don't expect it to do all the work. You've got to put yeah. in some work as well it on your end. It supports you in it a supports. miraculous. It is it's a, a tool powerful, in your toolbox. Powerful. And because I, I've had people say they put um, amethyst and rose quartz on their desk. And I'll yeah. say, you know, for because everyone <laughs> at work is so... Um, uh, negative. That's what I'll yeah, hear. Yeah, negative like. energy. Yes. Yeah. Well, that will work. But if you're going to the coffee pot mm. and engaging in the gossip, right? The rose quartz is not going to support you. Exactly. But if you have the rose quartz, you will likely go to the coffee pot and start to engage and maybe catch a get a catch yes. in your throat. It's amazing. Or how feel it, works. it in your heart yes. that. Oh, I don't need to do Ooh, this. I this don't, doesn't feel good I'm anymore. I'm step away from yeah. this situation. Whereas before it felt good and now it doesn't. So that's the crystal, but you can yes. move past that and keep, if you keep engaging in the gossip, you have now, am, you're, you're overpowering the energy of the crystal. Yes. Is this, I, I get what I'm saying? I completely yeah. agree with that. And yeah. to, and I think we get caught in our heads that, well, it's going to look a certain way. Yes. How the crystal supports you. Yeah. It might look a completely different way. <laughs> Then it's going to support it you. Probably will like look it's a completely gonna, different. Just way. like you, you <laughs> described as yeah. far as the way it supported you was to not to take a step back and not engage in gossip yeah. at the water cooler yeah. because you had a feeling. That feeling came from the support of not only yourself mm-hmm. but also from the amplification of the energy and the intention you set with that with said the crystal. crystal. Yeah. yeah, but where it can. The reason I laughed when she said it's not always what you expect it's is not. because I'm going on further past that. Where now you aren't engaging in the gossip, so it's opened up the Pandora's box of the fear of what others think of you <laughs> and not being liked because you're not participating, right? Yes. And how and the courage it takes to not well, participate. And now we need Tiger's Eye for the courage. Right. <laughs> <laughs> now you need a mentor to help you process. I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, but it is. It's, it's, it's all the things. Yeah. It supports you in the in the effort, in the effort. I do. Too. Yeah, mm-hmm. I want everyone to think as crystals, as tools yeah. in your metaphysical Powerful and spiritual tools. toolbox. They are not the end all and be all medicine yeah. to cure everything. Yes. They have amazing physical and metaphysical abilities. But again, we have to take an active role yes. in working with them yes. and with spirit yes. at the same time. But the, the way that they amplify, the way that they are able to hold an intention and be programmed with an intention, um, I find to be fascinating. Mm. I've experienced it on so many levels, especially working with crystal grids, which I know you love crystal I grids love too. Crystal grids. We both yes. love grids. Yes. And um, there's a lot of different 
excuse me, different ways that you can work with crystals. We're just touching on a couple here. Yes. But to me, there is no doubt in my mind, like, okay, let's, let's say everything is energy. We know everything mm -hmm. is energy. And if you believe that you're with me already, if everything is energy and has a frequency, which I know that there is some debate on if plastic has yes. energy or not, but I've been shown that plastic yeah, does not, but which that's something kind of makes I'm sense. exploring. <laughs> um, doesn't it make sense that we can take a talisman or mother earth energy, which is crystal mineral energy and work with it and manipulate that energy with ourselves? I mean, to me, that only makes sense. Yeah. And I'm not saying just crystals. I mean, we have talisman, like our feathers, mm -hmm. yes, you know, yes. that we work with that are charged and programmed with energy. Mm -hmm. And we work with that, that bird's energy Yes, and shamanism. Yes. So on a physical standpoint, to me, if everything is energy and, and holds a vibration or a frequency, it only makes sense that we are able to use that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Why else? Why else would it be here? Why else is there a grid network of crystalline energy throughout the entire planet? Well, and let's not forget it's been used since oh gosh the beginning of this isn't a yes, new concept not at even. all. And the same with shamanism; it's not yeah. a new age concept. It's not. I think shamanism um, and crystals just go hand in oh, hand. Oh, they totally do. I love it. I, yes, that's why I wanted to have you here. I feel I feel that interrupting you. No, Please no, continue, we're, you are but... so good. You are so good. Um, but yes, it is important to. I, I, I forgot what I was saying anyway. Um, shamanism is the <laughs> oldest. It goes oh, back yes. in. So working with crystals is not yeah. a new concept at all. at all. And it is, again, I think it comes back to that reciprocity. If you, if reciprocity, think of it, I, I love to use this analogy. If Dana and I are at a dance and I don't know her mm -hmm. and I want to dance, if I just go up and grab her and say, <laughs> come here and dance I'd with be me, like, what? She's going to be like pushing <laughs> me away. But if I go up and, and I... I want to get to know you. Can I talk to you? Yeah. I want to. I want to get to know you. Connect. Yeah. Make Do you like connection. to dance? And and then you connect. Or even with animals, you know, even yeah. our, our pets, our beasts. You got to establish trust for them yeah. to, and then they're your best friend, yeah. right? They'll go into a burning building for you. Yeah. I want you to think of totem animals and power mm -hmm. animals the same way. Just having an awareness of what they are and thinking that's the that's the extent of it is just a tip of the iceberg, but it truly is a recipro reciprocal relationship. It is. The more I give to oh. my, my tiger, the more I get back. You can, from yeah, tiger. you start to embody yeah. Yeah. and experience the support instead of just having it on, again on a conceptual level. Yes. I want to look at my notes. Um, Okay, yeah, because there was another thing I knew I wanted to touch on. Let's touch on it. Yes, and let me, yeah, we're good. We're good on time. So, again. Oh, it's 11-11, y'all. I know. Ah! <laughs> so, what a perfect time for us to segue. Okay. Because what I wanted to touch on is the importance of investing in mm. you. Yes. And this is not a, a, I'm not at all trying to be promotional here, whether it is with me or with someone or something, that thing that speaks to you, that, that person, that workshop, that whatever it is, yeah. if the price is what's keeping you from doing something that you feel within you, like in a moment, in, in, a, in a moment of time, you feel like, oh, this is for me. Yes. But then you start to backtrack when you start thinking of investing. I want you to be mindful that there's maybe a possibility that you don't allow yourself to make yourself a priority or worthy of putting money is just energy. It's just an energy yes. exchange. And Dana and I talked about this before because she has yeah. invested in working with me. Mm. I have invested in my own with other with mentors i think one of my biggest was yoga teacher training yeah. it was like three thousand and something dollars that's and no joke i made payments and i'm not a yoga instructor but it was a um shortcut or a sp it, it sped up it's where my meditation practice was mm. was based right you were meant yeah. to go through that. I was in meant order, to go through yes, it. Yes. To, to, to be spiritually where you are right Let's now. Let's rewind. I wasn't meant to. I had the invitation to. Uh, I had the opportunity to. And she took I it. I could have said no. Because let me tell you, I wanted to quit every yeah. day. It was the hardest <laughs> thing, I ever, so hard. hardest <laughs> thing I ever did. so hard. Hardest thing I ever did. But I knew when I read the description, I thought, 
it resonated. Like in my, I was like, Ooh, Angela, you're supposed to do this. So what I'm getting at, and we talked about this is making Mm. yourself a priority. It's a must. Yeah. I am. uh, Listen, I am walking, living, breathing example of that because while I, I guess I did things to make myself a priority, it wasn't in a spiritual sense mm. that it's all about the balance, right? You've got to have spiritual with physical and emotional, like all of that all has of to be in balance. Yeah. And I think the thing that was missing out of my life, which is why I felt so shitty for so long, even though I had everything I could want, right? Mm-hmm. I wasn't like going without or anything. Um, was the spiritual side of things. And once I made myself a priority and said, F it, I'm going to do it. I'm going to allow a lot this amount of time every week. I'm, you know, I'm going to make the energetic monetary exchange to do so. My life changed completely forever. And Mm -hmm. I'm still, you know, like I, I still reap the benefits on a daily basis because now I'm able to traverse life in a much different light in a much different way. When something comes up that normally I might, um, cry over, for instance, getting a flat tire on the way over here, which has happened before. Yes, do you remember it has. That? I do. I got <laughs> I do. a flat tire. I was on a way to a session here. Nope. I could have freaked out. Like I did start crying, panicking. Yeah. Why and, me? Instead, I was just like, Oh, my tire is flat. Let me just get it to the closest place mm-hmm. I can find. And I did. And and that was it. And I just said, okay, sorry, I'm going to have to cancel. When in previous years, that would have ruined my entire day. Yeah. Maybe my entire week. Yeah. I was now at a place that I was able to deal with it in a much more mature spiritual way. Flow. I flowed. Yes. Mm-hmm. I, I was in the flow. Mm-hmm. So nothing can touch me like it typically would have in the past. So when we talk about investing in ourselves, it's not just about learning shamanism or like, oh, it's so cool. I got to learn how to journey. I got to meet my power yeah. animal and yeah. all that, which that is also great. It's so much more. It's so much more. Mm-hmm. Again, I'm going to go back to the word you use. Do it like your life depends on it. Because truly the entire well-being of your life on an everyday basis, how you feel, how you react to things or don't react to things, how you just feel emotionally on a regular basis, how you're able to connect with nature and connect with Mm. the other realms on a regular basis. Deliberately, safely, mm. and effectively. Mm. Those are the words. Yummy. Yes. Yeah. Cause yes. we all, I meet people all the time that are connecting accidentally. Yeah. Or, right. you know, I, I know there's something there, yes. but I, I know it's there. I see it. I sense it. I feel it, yes. but I don't know how to work with it or, yeah. oh, and the one I love. And is, now I can because now I invested in myself. Exactly. And doing it safely. I'm real big on doing it safely. Yes. yes. And now I'm able to have a flourishing life. And I'm not saying that my life is all rainbows and roses not and unicorns. And right. You have to have mm-hmm. the duality and the contrast, yeah. but I am much better equipped. And I, I, I feel like I have a more well-being. I don't, I, I'm, I'm quality trying, of life, quality of life. Yeah. I mean, that, mm-hmm. that's perfect. Or, well, and I think too, it's, it's being more in alignment with, yeah. I always say it's not about what you do. It's who you're being when you do it. Yes. And it's, I love that, that it's the quality of life improves, but it's also the, ex- how you experience life and mm-hmm. stay with me here. If you are, if you are experiencing life, because everyone's wanting to discover their purpose. Uh, yes. Oh and my gosh. Yes. Yeah. I was so there. Being in that alignment is each day you are showing up yes. purposeful yes. and able to be guided, to be an yes. instrument and show up where you can be helpful, whether it's just being kind to a stranger or really showing up big for someone you know. And these are all the things that yeah. you will learn from having a spiritual mentor yeah. or teacher or going to a workshop or whatever whatever resonates with you yes and but take the time love yourself enough to do it because i can i am living proof that it is 100 percent worth it and and i am as well in my own story i began investing as a mother of twins and a single mother of twins early on and then again when they were teenagers i would (laughs) i would feel guilty if i bought myself a pair of shoes 
Like I would feel guilty if right. I bought myself anything. I would hide it in my bedroom oh. because kids were like, "Where's mine?" You know, oh. it's just what they, so I get. That's why I wanted to touch on this again. I, I, it, this is not at all saying you know invest in me. It's invest in you. Yes, invest in you, whatever that looks like, and continue to do so because. Yes. You do get a return on your investment. I promise mm. you. I have found that in my own experience and observing those that I have the the joy of mentoring and working with and doing what I do. One hundred percent. Yeah. Well, I feel that we're winding down. Okay. Can you think of anything else that you would like to touch on or any? Work your magic. You are the power. I always say that you are the power. Yeah. <laughs> That's like my my phrase. Um, my new one has been: You are a miracle. I How know. Precious is I love that. Love. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We are. you are. We're a walking miracle. miracles. Oh, you are a miracle. No matter who else knows it or sees it, you are. I, I just think, you know, taking a step back and this life is grand, and don't take any day mm. for granted. Um, learn to live more in the present moment and appreciate all of the blessings, whether it be a bird flying on the windowsill and saying hi to you, mm. whether it be hugging a loved one, smiling at someone crossing the street. Um, just the, all those small moments add up into really, really big moments and, and feelings yeah. in your life. And um, you are the power. So if you are wanting to change things in your life, you are the person to do it. No one else is going to do it for yeah. you. And I, I don't, I think that's it. Um, and crystal magic, wear them, use them. If you have questions, reach out to me. Yes. She is the lady. If you have questions about crystals, like I said, she has lifetimes of I knowledge, believe that. I, lifetimes of knowledge. She blows my mind. People would call me a crystal witch nowadays because yes. I work with crystals and magic. But I mean, I feel like I was just, you know, maybe a, a, an old crone it's with her crystals that. and herbs. Yeah. It's and, your, your connection and mm. just your her knowing of crystals is beyond what you could study in a book. And it's also beyond what you could memorize from a book. <laughs> like her, she, it, it, I it can't just blows remember my a mind. name, but I can remember everything about a crystal. Blows it's, my mind. She can look at one and tell you what, what's in it, yeah. what other, th I mean, it just blows my mind. And so I know that she is, she's had lifetimes and she's also connecting with ancestors that are yeah. because when we do our own work mm. we make ourselves instruments to be our ancestors express through us and around us and i'm getting yeah. into another topic i won't do it but i could talk <laughs> another whole hour on ancestors and and yes. that whole, and may, we may do that again sometime don't get us going because i know won't stop y'all <laughs> we'll be here all day <laughs> so um yes everything that you said mm. and and if you have any hesitation of doing something with Angela, reach out to me because I am again, living, breathing proof that the way that she is able to approach shamanism in a way that you will understand and a way that you will be able to incorporate in, into your life. I am living proof that you can do it and, um, you will be better off for it. I, I, I bow down Aww. to you. <laughs> you know, I'm not for everybody, nor do I want to be. No. But if I do resonate with you, and mm. that's how my teachers, we talked about that yes. before we got on. The teacher will appear when the student is ready. Always. And my marketing team is, is in the mm. unvisible realms. I truly meet with them and yes. I put it out there so that, because I, it would be miserable for me to work with someone that I don't resonate with Absolutely. them. Absolutely. And then vice so, versa for them. Yes, exactly. Yeah. It'd be miserable for both of us. But I, again, I I can't imagine someone you. not liking working with you, though. Oh, well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just there saying. Been, I'm sure there have been a few. I've been, I've been, I'm, I'm not a coddler. I'm very, but I'm gentle. But yeah. I, I, I do. Um, you straight shoot. This is what is yeah, going on. Yeah, this is I, what I don't, needs to happen. I don't, I'm not, yeah, I don't shoot not, any, any Not everyone's BS. ready. Yeah, yeah. Not everyone's ready. I don't do it. I'm, I'm gentle, but I, I do, I will, um. I, what was it that was said to me by one of my first teachers? I love you and I don't want to see any harm come to you. Yeah. So she would tell me things that would, you know, I'd be like, oh, 
Like, yeah. It's like, oh. She's had me where I'm like, <laughs> no, excuse Let's me. Let's look at it from this direction. She's like, Dana, this is happening. I'm like, no, excuse me. This is actually what happened, Angela, and this is how I felt. Yep. And she's like, Dana. Let's, let's bring it back around. Let's take a step back. <laughs> this is what we need to do shamanically, spiritually, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. She's literally my therapist. Yeah. Well, I just, I love the opportunity <laughs> to do what I do. Should we so. draw them? Oh, yes, because I do in Let's draw session. y'all. So let me grab my, I've got the drum. I mean, if you're up to oh, it. I'm I'd, always up to drumming. Yeah, no, it, this isn't Freebird, is it? No. Okay. No, that is not Freebird. That one is actually not named yet. And Oh, this is I the just unnamed. Kind of, yes, and this is Raven. I've worked with Raven on here before. So what song shall we do? Because uh, I always like to end with drumming and singing. Mother, I feel you. That's what I was thinking. Under my feet. Okay. Mother, I feel you under my feet. Mother, I hear your heart beat. Mother, I feel you under my feet. Mother, I hear your heart beat. Hey, I, hey, I, hey, I, yeah, hey, I, hey, I, ho. Hey, I, hey, I, hey. Thank you for listening or watching yes. or both. Thank and you for joining us. Thank you for having me on here. Oh, it's been, I've been like a kid waiting for Christmas. Oh, <laughs> I'm excited too. for this. Again, Our Mother's Crystals on Instagram uh, website. Yes. I am on, I'm on here. <laughs> <laughs> I have a website, AngelaFaith.love. If you want to go on there and check that out, I've got my offerings as well as a um, schedule a complimentary clarity call button so I can answer any questions that you may have and we can talk before you, you know, see how I feel. So remember you are safe, you are supported, and you are so loved. I love you. I love you. Thank you.